Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. Hope you all doing well. Having a really great day this video. I have received three boxes of all graphics cards. I spent $5,000 US on all these GPUs and I wanna go through in this video, I'm gonna unbox all of them. I'm gonna do that really quick for you all. Don't wanna waste your guys' time. And as well, explain why, okay, why I bought all these GPUs. And so I'm gonna explain all that. And so thank you to Mr. Hawk Crypto Mining for giving me the opportunity for letting me buy these GPUs off of him. So Hot Crypto Mining, thanks so much, man. Guys, go subscribe to him. He's a fellow crypto mining YouTuber, awesome guy. Love him so much. All right, so before we unbox these GPUs, I have a giveaway I want to announce just in this video. In the next 24 hours after this video is uploaded, I'm gonna choose a winner, random common picker. Okay, you just have to simply comment down below, uh, just if you're in USA or Canada, as well as uh, just a positive comment about anything regarding this video that we talk about. I'm gonna give away three RX 580, four gigabyte cards, okay, three of these. And as well, I'm gonna pitch in uh, three risers, actually four, in case one is uh, bad. Okay, I'll have four risers and three RX 580, four gigabyte cards. Okay, these are the MSI Armor Edition cards. So, for a lucky winner, just comment down below, guys. Comment down below, USA, Canada, positive comment and I'll choose the winner after 24 hours. You'll get these GPUs and risers as well. So good luck, good luck. Oh, also you're gonna be getting Mining Chamber merch, okay? I will give you a set of his shirt, his Mining Hub shirt here, as well as uh, some sweatpants, Mining Chamber sweatpants, Mining Rig Addicts, and uh, another shirt and a sweater, I believe. He's, he's got a lot of different merch here. I'll just give one of each and uh, we'll communicate, I will respond to your comment in the YouTube comments. If you have one, I'll pin your comment and then we will get in contact and uh, do all that stuff and get that all shipped out to you. So good luck guys. All right guys, let's get into the bulk of this video. So <laughs> I bought a lot of GPUs here, $5,000 worth. Let's just quickly look inside. I already just wanted to check how it looked inside, but I'll show you guys. And okay, those are curious and probably wondering, Red Panda, which GPUs did you buy? Which GPUs did you buy? Well, let me go ahead and just unbox them all for you on the ground here. That's really all the space I have. I just, I got crap everywhere, which I really need to uh, start cleaning up and actually start running a lot of GPUs and Octominers. I need to start filling them up. So I'll explain that later. All right, you guys will see all this unpacked right now. guys uh, it took me a good I would say hour to unpack all these GPUs Hawk if you're watching this bro thank you so much yet again uh, the packaging was amazing amazing we did have two cards that have bent the IO plate was bent like this and uh, another one here uh, that's obviously due to shipping okay but I'm positive they work we'll test that out in other videos I'm gonna have millions of videos setting up all of these GPUs guys. Uh, well, actually not all of them. So let me explain here. I have a lot of 5700 XTs and a lot of 580s. These are all AMD GPUs. Granted, there's actually one 3070 here. Uh, Hawk said uh, a couple of the 
of these guys, these Power Color AX 5700 XTs, died. So uh, he gave me a 3070 instead. So uh, Hawk, thanks for that, man. Thanks for the replacement. So uh, you know what? I'm just gonna move this to my NVIDIA section over here. A few 3070s there. Okay, so I have what I really wanted to buy all these for were because of the Power Color Red Devil 5700 XTs. Okay, these are such beautiful cars. Hawk, these are in such clean condition, man. The person you bought these from, okay, uh, just a little backstory. Hawk Crypto Mining got on, I think it was OfferUp. A gentleman was liquidating over, I think, 200 GPUs, and he got them for such a good deal. And then Hawk was able to sell a lot of the cards to the community. He has a video, go check it out. I'll have it linked down below. But I have another eight K Power Color Red Devils over here. And then I have a bunch of RX 580s, 32 to be exact, 32 RX 580s, uh, eight gigabyte cards. These are, feel like they're pretty much brand new. There's not a speck of dust on these cards at all. Uh, but yeah, Power Color 580, four, uh, eight gigabyte cards, RX or AX series. I'm not very familiar uh, with that model, but they seem to be pretty good. They have the back plate and stuff. Uh, looks, you know, pretty, I guess, stock style. RX 580, but these cards should be bulletproof. Then I have six Nitros, 5700 XTs. These are the Sapphire Nitro cards. These are extremely, extremely beautiful cards. I'm gonna be making a, uh, like an open air rig with these because uh, these things light up like Christmas trees. So that'll be for another video. Then I got more 5700 XTs here. There's 13. These are Power Color AX. 5700 XTs. I am not familiar uh, with that uh, model as well, but it looks like it has a copper heat sink. That's pretty cool. And yeah, these are AX RX 580s as well. Okay, power color as well. <laughs> Actually, everything is power color except for these Sapphire Nitros and that 3070 Asus top. So there you guys go. All right, I paid five grand for all of these. And so if you go on eBay right now, you can see recently sold. It's the middle of October as of recording this video. RX 580s go between 50 to 80 dollars that I've seen recently sold on eBay. So I got these for an average cost of, I think it was like $30 or $25 or something. And then on the 5700 XTs, I got a range of prices here. Uh, but if you guys go on recently sold on eBay, they go for about, I think, $100 to $150, depending on the model, of course. So I think I got a, a good deal. If I were to buy all these, you know, one by one, it would, I'd probably pay like eight grand, but I paid five grand. Uh, for all these. Okay, so with all that out of the way guys, Hot Crypto Mining, again, thank you so much man. This is such a, a great deal here for me here, I think. Okay, disclaimer, this is not a video to persuade people to go out and buy AMD cards. This is not a signal to buy older GPUs like the 5000 series, okay? These are not 6000 series or 7000 series which are out now. And you know, the 580s, I you know, I probably would not recommend buying those, but I, I'm gonna explain a lot here, okay? I'm gonna explain a lot why I, I decide to buy these. So, the price, okay? I just explained, you know, recently sold on eBay. I'd say I got a pretty good deal. Okay, so that's that. Second thing, I believe in the next bull run, okay, the next uh, crypto mining boom, or potentially the AI narrative could be the one that will, you know, boom the GPU market, potentially, that GPUs will probably go up in price again. So, kind of like what we experienced in 2018 and between 2019, where RX 580s, if you guys don't remember, these were selling for bottom barrel as well, like at least $35 or lower, sometimes, depending on where you buy. I know Nerd Gears was selling these for such low prices back in 2019, right? And so that could happen again, right? That could happen again. So uh, actually that's happening right now. <laughs> that's happening right now. There's mining farm liquidations that are happening for GPUs and you can be able to buy these if you look hard enough, that is. So you can get great deals out there. But the play here is, is that if you know, everything starts coming back. And of course, why everything is quite low and cheap right now is because I would say the Fed interest rates have risen quite high. Nobody can pay for their mortgages. You know, cost of living has gone up. Inflation is, you know, obviously terrible. And majority of people are living paycheck to paycheck and don't have expendable income to buy anything. And of course, GPU mining is not profitable. So that is one of the biggest reasons why we have cheap 
GPUs nowadays, okay, as of now. And I'm getting deja vu, like I'm shaking, because this is the same feeling I had in like 2018, bear market, 2019, 2020. We've seen massive deep deals for GPUs back then. And so now I feel like that's happening again. So that is why I spent five grand on all these cards here. Is that gonna happen again? Is there gonna be another crypto boom? Is there gonna be, you know, massive GPU mining profitability again? Thus, that's gonna raise the prices of these GPUs? I don't know. I hope so. That's what I'm betting on, okay? My conviction, my belief is that we are gonna come to a time where that's gonna happen again. It has happened in previous history. Is it gonna happen where, you know, an RX 580 is gonna be worth $500 in 2021? No, I think the 5000 series GPUs are gonna be the next, I would say, RX 580 of 2021. So when the next bull run comes, in my opinion, Okay, just my opinion. Uh, it's probably gonna be wrong. Don't go out and buy these cards or these cards or anything. I'm just saying it, it could potentially be that maybe a 5700 XT could be worth a couple hundred dollars in the next bull. Am I gonna be selling these cards in the bull run? No, I'm not a scalper. I've actually never sold GPUs in higher price in 2021 or 2022. No, when, I don't know, when 3090s were two grand, you know, when 3080s were, oh no, sorry, 3090s were like out, upwards to like $3,000. 3080s were, yeah, almost 25, dollars $22,000 at one point. And so come to think of it, I actually bought, I would say, two of these 3090s, which are about, I think I bought for about $2,500 on average, where two of these $2,500 3090s would be $5,000 equal to the amount of GPUs that I have sitting here. Like literally, I would say a year or two, two years later, okay, <laughs> it's, it's from these two 3090s are now the price of all these GPUs like a year and a half later. Isn't that insane to think about? So just in theory, okay, I'm just saying in theory, if profitability comes back for GPU mining, uh, you best believe I'm probably gonna be running all of these. And you can see, I have a lot of my Octa miners, you know, getting ready to put GPUs in. I have to, uh, I'm actually getting ready to uh, shut down my ASIC miners because I'm gonna be getting them hosted. So I'm gonna have all GPUs running on the shelf coming up really soon. I'm gonna have a lot of videos doing that. You guys see my 12 Radeon 7s. I got A2000s. I got more GPUs down there that are off right now that I wanna turn on. And uh, yeah, just, I, I got stuff everywhere. So. Yeah, total of 68 GPUs here, including that 3070 Hawk, thanks again. So yeah, I'm excited to get these uh, going again. But I mean, more reasons as to why I bought these. Okay, so there's been kind of like an, I would say an uptrend in ProgPow coins or Kapow coins that, you know, AMD cards such as the 5700 XTs are very strong, are very good, I would say, on ProgPow Kapow. Not, obviously not as efficient as 6000 series cards, but here is my strategy. I'm gonna try to make an Octominer of eight of these beautiful power color red devils. Okay, I know this lights up red, so that's gonna be sick. That, you know, I'm gonna see if I can tune down all the cards, you know, lower than what they normally do on Kapow. All right, to, just to be, you know, try to, you know, not cause too much heat and see if it's possible if I could also BIOS mod them to gain more efficiency somehow. Um, similar to the 580s here, not that I'm gonna turn these on, okay? I just have these for, I don't know, maybe giveaways for the future, you know, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll make Octominers of them later on. Anyways, I'm thinking that there's there has been some rumors of Dynex being really good on 580 cards or, uh, uh, Polaris cards. So I'm gonna try BIOS modding. Actually, no, probably not gonna BIOS mod these. I'm gonna BIOS mod one of these 584 gigabyte cards for Dynex and see if that's going to work or not. And uh, I think I saw like three or four, five kilohash on a single 580. I, I don't know if that's possible, but I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. But as well, I'm just gonna make a lot of rigs here for mining ProgPow or Kapow coins. And uh, I'm gonna be yielding a lot of those coins. I I'm not necessarily gonna do it for profitability. I'm doing it for mining and uh, hodling for long term. And uh, hopefully there's price appreciation of the coins. And then hopefully there's gonna be price appreciation of the GPU. So if that happens, then maybe, you know, I can sell them, hold the money, and then the next cycle begins, the next bear market, and then buy the next generation, maybe 6,000 series. As I'm talking about this right now, maybe we're gonna look back at this video a couple years later in the next bear market and then the 6000 series are going to be like the next uh, 580s of 2021 and then the 
you know, 2025, 2026 could be, you know, 5700 XTs. You know, it's just a cycle, you know. It, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is going to play out or not. Just a disclaimer, I'm doing this because I've, I've seen it before and it, it's not, I know, we don't know if it's going to repeat, if history is going to repeat itself or not, but I'm willing to take this risk. I'm willing to put that, you know, investment to continue on mining, hodling, and uh, see if that 5K turns into, you know, something else in the future, a lot more, right? So those are basically the reasons why I bought it. And as well, I have to say, I have an addiction to uh, crypto mining and buying GPUs. So that's a, that's a total other thing I know you guys know about me. But man, I am excited about these Red Devils. I've always wanted more Red Devils. These are such nice cards. I actually had one before that bricked, but I think that was due to me BIOS modding it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to BIOS mod these. I think I did say I was going to try to, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see down the road if I BIOS mod them. But I'm just going to try to run these at lower power limit for, you know, those Kapow coins and uh, mine and hodl. Okay, my friends, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think of my $5,000 purchase of the 68 GPUs here. If you think it's a good idea, a bad idea, give me your reasons down below and don't forget to participate in the giveaway. Three RX 580, four gigabyte cards, and also four risers, and also merch. A lucky winner is gonna get all of that. Just comment down below if you're in USA or Canada and a positive comment about anything I talked about in this video, anything. Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck, and I'll see you all in the next video. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta make a lot of mining rigs. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you all later. Have a good one. Peace out. Oh man, I can't make I can't wait to make this nitro rig. This this thing is these cards are glorious. These are really nice GPUs. Dang. Hot crypto mining. Thanks again, man.